Somebody has stolen my topic. All right, I stole it from somebody else. Granted. But I want to talk about Avengers and their plans for the future because everybody knows about some of the contractual issues. I believe Robert Downey Jr. was signed on for two more Marvel movies as Iron Man. Um, everybody thought it would be Iron Man 4 and Avengers 3, so past Avengers 2. He signed on. Um, you have Chris Evans, only signed on for two more. One of those is going to be Captain America 3 that we already know about, and everybody thought that the other one would be Avengers 3. And then you have Chris Hemsworth, who's being a big baby. He doesn't like playing the Thor character. I don't know why he doesn't like playing a character that has made him bazillions of dollars. Bazillions. Has it? Well, I'm sure it has. I'm, I'm sure it's made him... And because it's given him every other role he's had since. And I've heard somewhere, I don't like bulking up to play Thor. Oh, sorry, you don't like being paid to get a personal trainer and looking like, you know, uh, a, a Norwegian god. Who, who, who would like that? Yeah, not, uh, not to me. be uh, fair, the Thor movies were not the best. No, they weren't. But they still made a ton of money, and they still made him an actor. They put him on the map. I'm trying to think of anything he was in before that, and I can't. That movie. He was in that movie. That movie. Yeah, you remember that movie. movie? Yeah, you know what movie yeah. I'm talking about. That movie. So, so the rumors that are circulating around is that Avengers 3 is actually going to feature Tony Stark leading a new cast of characters for Avengers 3. So he's going to assemble the Avengers in a different way. And now there's a couple ways they could lead into this. Um, rumors, again, rumors, I've read it on several different places, is that in Thor 3... Because, um, again, Chris Hemsworth has two more movies. One is going to be a Thor, because they're trying to do trilogies for all the main ones. Thor 3, something happens to Odin, and Thor kind of steps up and has to take care of Asgard, so he cannot come back for the events of Avengers 3. And then in Captain America 3, it's, you know, especially in the end of Captain America 2, you kind of saw that he was a little disenfranchised with uh, the whole, you know, shield and everybody, the power and how they were kind of using it more for fear-mongering than for actually protecting people. They kind of had those themes, and so there's rumors that he might hand off the shield to somebody else at the end of Captain America 3. So that'll be interesting. And there's a couple characters that have been known to actually take over that. Hawk, uh, yeah, I believe that is his name, Hawk. Uh, you know, the guy flying, or, or Falcon, sorry, Falcon. Um He's been known to be Captain America, or I think he's just recently taken over. Also, the Winter Soldier um, has been a person that has taken over the Captain America shield. So that'll be interesting. Well, so that's that what they be... need one of the movies already, right? Hmm? Yeah, the Winter Soldier, yeah, because yeah. uh, Bucky popped up in it. Um, and and they're, they're also talking about um, in Avengers 2, they might launch um, Hulk into space. Because Hulk goes to space. He does, actually, and then he goes to a planet and he becomes a gladiator. That's Planet Hulk series. So they're talking about all these ways of getting rid of these characters for at least one movie uh, before they bring them back for the whole ending because they want to make... You know what I would like to see? The Captain America thing? With him getting uh, a little bit disenfranchised and a little bit weary of it? The black suit uh, Captain America, which hmm. happened back... Uh, Apparently happened as a response to uh, to Watergate and the creators being so ashamed of what happened at, during Watergate um, that he he was like black for he, he didn't wear the uh, the American the flag suit for for a year or two. Um, so does he spray paint his shield black and will vibranium accept paint like that? I I don't know maybe. <laughs> but that would be interesting. Too. That would be interesting. Like to I, you know, I guess it would have to come up with a new controversy because it wouldn't be Nixon any more relevant. But that'd be interesting to see, like if there's some big, like if he's feeling like they're they're doing the wrong thing or whatever, and becomes ashamed for a while, and like that'd be you know adding more depth to his character. Um, Which and, Captain and real America is kind of the conscience of uh, the Avengers almost. Because Tony Stark, you know, he's the playboy billionaire. He can go off and do anything he wants. He doesn't quite have the down-to-earth feel. Uh, like the Hulk, he turns into a raging monster. <laughs> I mean, uh, you have Thor, who's from a whole different world, who doesn't really have the values of, you know, and then Hawkeye and Black Widow are really just assassins. So Captain America is kind of what brings them and focuses them in to do 
the real good. Now all those other characters want to do good, but sometimes they get led astray, it seems like. So having a black suit Captain America where he kind of loses faith would be an interesting way to do it. I, I think that'd be pretty cool. And and again, they might do this you know, in those trilogy enders so that they could come back for Avengers 4 and just kind of make everything you know, crazy. Avengers 4, three. Huh? Avengers 3, you mean? No, Avengers 3 will be the new team led by Tony Stark because Captain America gave away his shield, Thor has to stay in Asgard, Hulk's been launched into space. So these guys might, you know, take on, he might assemble another team for some other sort of crazy thing that's going on. I mean, the Avengers have no shortage of enemies. And I've also heard rumors of maybe they might introduce the Guardians of the Galaxy into Avengers 3, because we all know Thanos is a big villain for the Avengers, and they've showed him in some of the, some little teasers here and there that he's going to eventually be one of their main bad guys. And they've also shown him in Guardians of the Galaxy, so we might see a team up with Tony Stark, Guardians of the Galaxy, um, maybe a, a side superhero or two that gets thrown in there. Um, it is interesting because a lot of the cool universe that might get thrown in there is the, the Fox side of things. It's the you know the X Men, the Deadpool's, all those. Most of those guys haven't been in there, but uh, you know they are bringing Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver into Avengers Two, so maybe they'll be part of the new team yeah, as well. A lot of that's going to be interesting to see because with the conglomerate stuff that Marvel's been doing, the Marvel Universe, they're missing some big chunks still. Mm -hmm. um, like, I keep thinking, like, hey, all this stuff would still be great. Like, these tensions building up would be great to lead into Marvel Civil War, right? Or Secret Wars, one or the other. But they're missing X-Men. They're or missing Avengers versus X-Men, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, they are, and which brings me over to another part of new piece of news that has kind of come out amid all these different talks about what's going to happen with the Avengers. Um, and it's because Marvel has been reaching out to Sony, and they've also been reaching out to Fox, which Fox has kind of given them the cold shoulder because they're like, oh, we want to... But Sony has kind of been disenfranchised a little bit. Amazing Spider-Man 2 did not do as well as I thought it would. So they've been reaching out, trying to figure out a way to reinvigorate their main superhero. And apparently, and I believe it was HitFlix.com did an interview with somebody from Marvel saying that they were trying to reach out to other studios to bring in their whole cast of characters, and they were willing to make compromises creatively and corporately. So they're saying, hey, we'll share the money, we'll make a compromise to kind of gain access to more of their characters. Because... I mean, if you put Marvel Studios on it, it seems to be gold. Uh, look at Guardians of the Galaxy. Who knew about Guardians of the Galaxy really before they started being talked about? I really didn't. I was like, they're going to make a movie of that? Who? And I had to Wikipedia those guys <laughs> before yeah. I really figured out what happened. And that movie was humongous. It was Marvel for a while. And it was like, yeah. Then it was like, oh, okay. Some yeah. random Marvel superheroes? Yeah. It was like, who are these guys? They're not going to do any good. And they were huge. Everybody loved them. I mean, they did have a great cast, don't get me wrong. Um, and a pretty good story. But that movie blew up. So they've been talking with Sony's especially been a little bit more, you know, willing to listen. And so I'm thinking Spider-Man might be part of Avengers 3. Probably not. Who knows? There's no release date yet, though. But wouldn't he did join the Avengers in the comics for a while. I think that would be probably the coolest addition to the new Avengers team that would lead into an Avengers 4 where you could have more of the Civil War type thing. If only or Fox Secret Wars. Cool. Secret, Secret Wars, Wars, they all work together too. So, so and you know, which would be cool. So, I mean, any of the I'm Marvel just Wars would just be amazing. So. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, exactly. But I'm just gonna and and it could be that they're setting up Tony Stark's new team against some of the old team members from the Avengers one and two. So that could be a cool way to do it too. But I'm just gonna throw out my dream team of uh, Avengers three. So this is assuming that Hulk. Uh, Thor and Captain America are all gone. So that's just assuming that. So it would be Iron Man, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. Of course, those guys would be left over, which kind of leaves you know, one superhero and two just really good humans, regular humans, because neither of the other two have superpowers. Um, you'll have Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, because they're going to be introduced in Avengers 2, and who knows, maybe they go away. But then Spider-Man... And I'm not going to say all of the uh, Gal Guardians of the Galaxy, just Groot. Only Groot. That's the only one you need only from Groot. Just Groot. He was the best of them all, and he only said, I am Groot. So 
Yeah, you don't need Star Lord. You don't need everybody else. Just Groot, and make him do a little dancing scene again at the end, because that was the coolest part of the movie. Okay. <laughs> so that, that's okay. All right. And right. then, and then this is just again fantasy team. Wolverine would be in there too, because I mean, Wolverine Here's was very thing. integral with the Inve- Avengers, but Fox is never going to let it happen. Yeah, that's the thing. Like Fox is not lining the rip. Sony, Sony as a company is in trouble. They don't know what to do with Spider-Man. They're getting desperate, so they're going to do stuff because if they don't figure out something to do with Spider-Man that generates money, they're they might not have the money or be around to do a Spider-Man four or whatever. Um, yeah, which they don't. I mean, the Amazing Spider-Man two, I didn't think was bad, but they probably probably put way too much money in there and then they did something stupid like oh let's just bring Rhino which they probably paid Paul Giamatti like a bazillion dollars like at least a couple million just to show up for 30 seconds of the movie made no sense you know a lot yeah. of these things uh, yeah. the Green and Goblin in that was just not a good not a good fit I understood setting up the Harry Osborn character but the way they didn't just didn't work uh, you know so but you I, did, what I like did hear the though. Shocker or Electro I did hear that the um, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 video game what lived up to that uh, hype of the um, ma- the Spider-Man 2 movie video game, which was the be- like one of the best movie video games ever. So they probably because they let you swing around New York free uh, freestyle, just like they did in Spider-Man 2. Cause that was awesome. That's what they really concentrate on. Just make those video games and actually get them out because I don't think a lot of people play them because you don't expect movie video games to be good. But somehow they got some good a good team under the Spider-Man Spider-Man Movie 2's video games have been yeah. good. And if you want to check out another good Spider-Man video game, check out uh, Web of Shadows. It's been out for a while, so it's cheap, but it's another one of those where you get to free roam around the city as Spider-Man. And mm. Those are the best Spider-Man games. So, I don't know. Let us know what you guys think. What characters should be in Avengers 3? Should they go this route by and try to squeeze in these guys? You know, I mean, really, they're just trying to squeeze as many movies out of these contracts that they can, it seems like. Um, do you Being think it's a bad idea? What is your fantasy Avengers team? That's actually what I want to hear. I don't want to hear about anything else. Let us know your fantasy Avengers team. If, if Fox and Sony and Marvel could play nice, who would be the best Avengers lineup? Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at What's My Face on Twitter, What's My Face at gmail.com, What's My Face.com, Google Plus, and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us.